Hello there, and welcome to Organic Chemistry for the Real World. I'm Stephen Joseph, and today I'll be sharing with you a little molecule that has played a significant role in my life. Polyparaphenylene terephthalamide, commonly known as Kevlar, is an organic fibre of the Aramid family group, developed by organic chemist Stephanie Kwolek of DuPont. The name Aramid is a portmanteau of aromatic polyamide, a class of strong, heat-resistant synthetic fibres. It is the product of a condensation reaction between 1,4-phenylenediamine and terephthaloyl chloride, producing hydrochloric acid as a byproduct. Coming from a mechanical engineering background with a special interest in material science, Kevlar has a great personal significance to myself in the sense that it saved my life, or at least flesh, when I fell off my motorbike last year. And due to my recently growing inspiration toward the area of organic and polymer chemistry, I've been able to understand its amazing physical and chemical properties. Kevlar has an exceptionally high tensile strength to weight ratio and a rather low thermal conductivity, making it extremely ideal for composite material applications, such as personal protection armour and cryogenic suspension in a superconducting magnet. In my research, I discovered that Kevlar is an organic compound, meaning that it is abundant with hydrogen and carbon atoms, with a few nitrogens and oxygens in the mix. Throw this group of hydrocarbons into the aromatic polymide family, and you end up with a series of conjugated planar rings with resonance, meaning that you have delocalized electron clouds, instead of discrete, alternating single and double bonds. This resonance gives the molecule additional stability, and thus its aromatic nature. And no, I'm not talking about its ability to trigger my sense of smell. Kevlar is also a polyamide, which are a derivative of carboxylic acid, where OH is replaced by an NH group, or CONH in Kevlar's case. Kevlar is a synthetic polymer, and its monomers consist of an amide group and a phenyl group. Due to the large size of the phenyl groups, they position themselves on opposite sides of the amide bond, to form a trans-conformation to avoid overlap repulsion between the hydrogen atoms. The intermolecular hydrogen bonds form between the more electronegative oxygen atom and the less electronegative hydrogen atoms, playing a crucial role in Kevlar's strength. This conformation, with the added strength of the intermolecular forces, gives Kevlar its versatile lattice structure. This model I've created of the monomer section of Kevlar consists of 14 carbons, 12 hydrogens, 2 nitrogens and 3 oxygens. Through my atomic mass calculations, I've found the molecular mass to be 254.25 grams per mole. I've represented the carbon, oxygen, nitrogen and hydrogen atoms in black, red, blue and white respectively, with their relevant sizings and position within the molecule. I've represented the bonds with toothpicks, noting the double bonds for this oxygen atom and in the cyclohexanes. It's a lot larger than the real molecule, but the connections would look something like this, given that you froze time because atoms are always moving. So in conclusion, Kevlar is an amazing molecule, and the area of organic chemistry is simply fascinating with limitless applications in the physical world. I'm Stephen Joseph, thank you for watching. <laughs>